Welcome. I'm Jeff from Freedom to Think Podcast. This is another of my Free Thinker React series. Today we have a special request to check out Tom McDonald promo for Us Against the World and No Guts, No Glory, the album. So I don't really know what this is about, but you asked for it, so I'm going to check it out. Before we get started, if you like these videos, please like, comment, subscribe. And let me know what else you want to see in future videos. Also, you can find me everywhere at F2T Podcast or F2T Broadcast, like my new Truth Social, Facebook, um, over on TikTok. So check me out and you can message me any on any of the platforms for things you want to see in the future. So let's get into this. State your age. 32. State your country of residence. United States of America. State your name. Tom McDonald. Under Section 4A of the Restrictions on Freedom Act, established by the International Police in February of 2022, you have been found to be in violation of several... International Police. Okay. So, I like this futuristic, you're in trouble thing. We kind of all have this coming, so this, this is something to pay attention to. By the International Police in February of 2022, you have been found to be in violation of several civil disobedience bylaws, inciting public distrust of the government, solicitation of confidential information, anti-institutional rhetoric, unauthorized assembly of civilians with the purpose of protest, and amplifying social unrest. You are a threat to world safety, and therefore you are being charged by the international police for the aforementioned disobediences. You are a threat to world safety. The The language is brilliant, because this is the kind of stuff that we're hearing out of, like, the World Economic Forum, out of uh, the WHO, where they're just like, we need global democracy. We need institutions and progress. Sorry, that's my best Klaus Schwab impersonation. Um... Have you seen him wearing the, like, some of those outfits he wears where he looks like a space rocket man? Or, you know, when he's wearing considerably less and you see that, you never want to see that again. Um, but anyway, this is this is pretty funny. Like, he's nailing the verbiage that they use talking about the safety. It's all like, it's it's the German safety. Thur Eier Sigurheit. It's like... It's for your safety, the way the Nazis used to say it. I, I didn't think, I thought this was going to be a nothing. If I'm being real, I'm just like, check out a trailer to an album. What does that even mean? This is pretty cool. Safety and therefore you are being charged by the international police for the aforementioned disobediences. How do you plead? You know what you call disobedience? You know what we used to call that? Freedom. And what you call inappropriate, I call necessary. And what you call lies and conspiracy and anti-institutional rhetoric, I call that the truth. Bro, I'm getting so hyped right now. Yes. Yes. Dude, they've, they've been gaslighting us into oblivion. So I really appreciate the just sticking it to the man. Generally, always like that, like my entire life. But the last couple of years have been like nuts, just like a powder keg. People freaking out. We're just like, dude, somebody's got to do something. Somebody's got to say something. Somebody's got to, you know. And Tom so far has been the somebody. And, you know, he was like a um, an ex-wrestler and a rapper who was into some bad stuff and then decided to go ham against the system as like his calling. So you wouldn't, you don't expect it necessarily, but it's very awesome. Very cool. An anti-institutional rhetoric, I call that the truth. <laughs> you guys really think you run the world, huh? You think you can just bully everyone and cancel everything? You think you can just push us around so we all fall in line? Yes, they do. They're very arrogant about it. Very narcissistic. And honestly, if there is a downfall, which I feel like a big downfall is coming, it's because they're so arrogant and they think we're so stupid that we're just going to do nothing. So they're like, oh, we're going to cancel you. We're going to, you know, get rid of this. We're going to restrict this. We're going to shadow ban this. But a lot of us, man, 
like we grew up in unfair circumstances like i was born in like the worst part of the highest like murder capita city in the country and um you know i mean i had times where i asked for food and there was no food like it was not easy always so for them they're like oh we're canceling this you know facebook account okay we're shadow banning your tiktok with fourteen thousand followers on it and i'm just like okay like it sucks but every head you cut off three more are growing in its place like you gotta take me out to, to stop me it ain't gonna happen oh man i'm just getting pumped just getting pumped do everything you think you can just push us around so we all fall in line <laughs> here's the thing I've been fighting for the world for a long time. For the losers and the rejects and the outcasts and the forgotten. For the abused and the unwell and the disenfranchised. Calm down, Mr. McDonald. No, I've been fighting for our freedoms and our safety and our survival and the way that we remember the world used to be. I've been fighting for the world. Sit down. No, I'm not gonna sit down. I won't shut up. I will not quit. I will not back off. I won't let you destroy everything that people have spent their lives trying to build. I have fought for the world for all my life, but do not think for a second that I will not fight against it. That's why you're here. That's why you will never leave here. <laughs> you think you can stop me? You really think you can stop me? It's been me against the world since I was old enough to think. Okay, so I got like the goosebumps and like just getting getting way up. So good job, Nova. We don't give her enough credit. My uh, brother-in-law is a cinematographer and he's pretty big. Like he's worked with Twitter and the NFL done on like countless commercials he just flew to hawaii to do some commercial for some big um surfboard brand i don't know if he wants to be outed but point is i definitely have some respect for good videography and i like how it switches from this you know recording to the like shaky cam and then jumping from side to side and the music coming along with it just just slowly amping up it's really good the fact that it's just like a pair of people that do this is nuts. People spend like millions of dollars to get these kind of productions. Tom, you better spoil your woman. That's all I'm saying. It's been me against the world since I was old enough to think. War, famine, natural disaster. The world has fought it all and won. The world is undefeated. We are undefeated. One man will not change that. You see, that's that's where you screwed up. They say with great power comes great responsibility. You know what else comes with great power? Ignorance. Careless mistakes. The ability to vastly underestimate the people who you have power over. And I am not alone. You can lock me up, you can hide me away, you can shoot me down like a dog in the street, but I promise you, you cannot kill me. My word, my message, my vision, my spirit will live on through Hangover Gang forever. Okay, I'm gonna be real. Some of these Hangover Gang people, like he's got a very, very loyal following, okay? And a lot of them are very sharp people. Like, you can't gaslight them. You can't lie to them. You got to show them the exact proof, the exact evidence, the exact clips, which is very important because there's a lot of craziness going on and a lot of people telling you what to think. And I'm totally against that. I want to bring out as much information as possible and just let you see it and think about it. And so Tom's people, this hangover gang, as he's talking about it's some of the most awakened, conscious, just freaking, like, all the people are with it, okay? And they take all shapes, all ages, 
all races, all religious backgrounds. It doesn't matter. But it's just like, obviously, look at Tom. You see the guy, and he's got like the crazy tattoos and everything. Crazy hair. So it's a very different aesthetic than you would think from someone just like rallying the kind of truther community, I guess, whatever. But the point is the people that see through kind of the act that he has there to get attention because that's part of you know his deal he's got to get attention but they completely just don't see that and they see what's behind him that he brings this truth and freedom they see the fight that he's going against like the world dominating government trying to take away all freedom these guys want us living in little like sustainable eco pods eating weeds and bugs while they sit at their crazy mansions with their buddies eating steak and caviar and having like Hunger Games viewing parties, okay? That's what they want. And so he has enough foresight to see we got to do something ahead of time. And the people rallying behind him are kind of the awakened, conscious individuals that are like, hey, dude, like we need kind of a rallying force behind this craziness. So... I appreciate the support. Hangover Gang has given me, a, to a degree, just in some of these recommendations and, and some of the smart commentary that I've seen through all of these, um, this series I have here. But things are getting nuts. This is pretty cool. Wow, I gotta see how old this is. My message, my vision, my spirit will live on through Hangover Gang forever. And you know what? I guess you're not the only one making mistakes. Because when I said it was me against the world, I was mistaken. It's not me against the world. It's us against the world. But to answer your question, not guilty. It's clever marketing. So us against the world throws on the red mask. And then the cover is him plus everyone else wearing a red mask. Good job, Tom. That's cool. That's really cool. All right. That was definitely interesting. So um, hang on. I'm going to find who sent that. Gregory from the UK. Thank you for that recommendation. Um, this was a little different. It wasn't a song, but I greatly enjoyed it. I didn't know what I was going to be checking out, but this was awesome. So uh, if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe. Follow me everywhere at F2T Broadcast. I have a couple of accounts at F2T Podcast. Um, it'll pop up after this. And uh, just let me know what you want to see next because I really enjoy doing these. I've definitely enjoyed the Freethinker React series, just getting to know you guys and some of the back and forth in the comments. So um, I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.